Good morning, everyone. Um, it's literally like 8 a.m. I still have like puffy, sleepy face, but today I figured I would take y'all with me on my day off and do a little bit of a vlog. Um, there wasn't any new videos last week because I moved. I got a new apartment, um, so I'm still unpacking. So I want to get some coffee today. I want to get the new Starbucks drink because it is so good. The like brown sugar shaken espresso. So I'm going to go to Starbucks and then I want to go to Ulta because they sell Jaclyn cosmetics and I want to buy one of her highlighters or bronzer blush duos depending on what they have in stock because I'm a Jaclyn Hill stan and I want to try them. And then I need to wash my car and then I'm going to take my car to the car wash and we'll like vacuum it. I need to clean the inside of my car and then I'm going to set up my room. So let me show you guys. Okay, I do want to show you all the rest of my apartment. I want to show you guys my living room because I'm really, really excited about it. I think it's going to be really cute. I don't have a couch, um, but I will show you what I'm going to do. So you walk out of my bedroom and here is my cute little living room. My bedroom's right here and then you walk immediately out and I have my piano right here, my guitar, and just kind of like a little cute music corner. And then my living room. It's so cute. I'm really, really excited about it. So, and then right here, I just have a makeshift couch, but I'm, I'll am i put the couch that I'm getting on the screen so that you can kind of see the vibe I'm going for. It's a cute little like velvet green couch I got from Wayfair. I have this really cute bookcase. This is just from Big Lots. It was like 70 bucks, not too expensive, but I'm really, really proud of like how I decorated it. I have my three favorite My Chemical Romance albums just propped open so you can see them. I have all of the rest of my CDs out here. These are just some of my like favorite albums that I just needed hard copies of. I have this plant that is dying because my old roommate's cat kept eating it, so I'm gonna bring it back to life. My Google Home, um, my books, and these aren't all of my books. These are just some of the books that I wanted to display. So of course, Twilight, Chase Darkness With Me by Billy Jensen. If you're a true crime fan, I highly recommend that one. Last book on the left from last podcast. These are two like sex positive books. I haven't read Pleasure Activism yet. My friend just got it for me, but Tell Me What You Want is one of my favorite books about like sexual fantasies and desires. And then here's just more of my other favorite books. And then a cute little Jack Skellington mug that's actually a homemade candle that my friend made for me. Okay, and then I just have some of my plants over here. I actually have two plants back here that I'm trying to like completely restart because they were just so dead. And then I have this little fake fireplace. It does light up, which is really cute, but it doesn't actually like heat my apartment, but it looks really cute. And then I just have some of my favorite pictures with this little sign that says, may good things grow. I have Biscuit's cat tree that I just got from Amazon and it's lasted a really long time actually. And then I have these cubbies again that I just got from Big Lots. You can get them like really anywhere. That's what I use for my entertainment stand. I have more books, some board games, some movies, my diplomas, my TV, and then some art. So this I got from a small shop in Portland. It's really cute. And then I got this literally from the Women's March. Um, and then this one is one of my favorites and I got it from a local sex shop here. And then these two I just got from Michael's. And this I got from Gemma Hawkins tattoo on Instagram, although I don't think she makes this anymore because she got copyrighted, unfortunately. Biscuit, why are you screaming? So yeah, that's my cutie little apartment. And then back there is just my kitchen. Nothing too exciting. So ugh, I'm tired. I might just like sit and watch some TV for a little bit because it is only eight o'clock and it's my day off. I might just like chill and watch an episode of Shit's Creek or two and then go get some coffee run my errands, and then come back here and clean and put up my decorations in my bedroom. How does that sound, madam? How does that sound, Bukui? Oh, let me see a belly. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup, just like my eyebrows, and a little bit of mascara. First, I'm playing a little bit of this Paula's Choice spot treatment. I'm trying to go a week without foundation because I've been breaking out really, really badly lately. 
and I've been getting a lot of acne scars from it, so I'm just gonna try to give my skin a break. This is the Paula's Choice Antioxidant Pore Purifier. Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, so far it's working pretty well. These have been going down, so. Um, my whole skincare routine pretty much is Paula's Choice. I'm probably gonna do an updated skincare routine soon, but yeah, that's what I use right now. And I've already put on my moisturizer with SPF in it. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit. Just do some like natural brows. Okay, so I just filled in, I just filled in most of my brows with the ink stain, then I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna fill in a little bit more with the pencil. And then I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I've been using the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. I actually really like it. I have pathetic eyelashes. Like my eyelashes are pretty much non-existent. So, I mean, so for me, this mascara is like okay. But I feel like if you have naturally pretty okay lashes, you're going to really like it. Actually, I'm just going to finish filling in my eyebrows really quick. So I'm just going to take the pencil side and just lightly fill in. So I just kind of underline and just fill it in. Okay, the brows are a little messy, but... That's okay, they're supposed to look natural, right? Curl my lashes and pop on some mascara. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and do another coat. That's what it looks like. It's pretty nice. My eyelashes over on the side are like getting like messy, but whatever. It's pretty solid. Also, when I don't wear a lot of makeup, I don't like wearing bottom mascara. I just feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger if I don't. But Queen, where are you going? So, I'm gonna put on a hoodie and maybe some leggings, some nice day off clothes. But Queen, come say hi. Come here. I'm gonna put on some nice day off clothes and then head to Starbucks. Okay. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a Pensy Prep hoodie that Frank Iero was doing like a limited run of that I got. If you don't know, Pensy Prep is the band that Frank Iero was in before he was the guitarist of My Chemical Romance. And then I'm putting on some checkerboard slip-ons, if I can get them on. Hi, Biscuit. Biscuit's been loving to run into my closet. Um, so yeah, big hoodie, beanie, baggy jeans. These are just from the thrift store that I cut myself. And we're gonna run our two errands and clean our car because we're gonna be productive today. I just realized that I haven't eaten anything and we don't drink coffee on an empty stomach in this house. So I'm just gonna make myself some peanut butter toast real quick. I'm only having one piece because I swear I'm still full from dinner last night. I made like tofu fried rice last night that I think I might make tonight also, but I swear I'm still full, so. Just one piece, but you always gotta eat something in the morning, especially if you're gonna drink coffee, put something in your stomach. So, cheers to peanut butter toast. Okay, so that was like successful and unsuccessful in the same in the same realm so I tried to like film while you know doing my running my errands but it was just all over the place because everything was just all over the place 
I ended up not going to Ulta because I just moved and moving is very expensive. So I'm just gonna wait on the Jaclyn Hill makeup because I still have like staples that I need to buy for this place. So instead I went and I vacuumed my car, which was a mess because I only had 75 cents in my car. So I had to go ask the car wash guy for an extra quarter, which he gave to me, very sweet of him. Um, so I vacuumed my car. Uh, I still need to like clean my car like I need to take like Lysol or something and like spray everything and clean it out And then I needed to get new tabs because my tabs are expired not anymore though Um, and yeah, it was just a little bit all over the place. I did get the coffee. It is so good I get it with two shots and a little bit extra oat milk because I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to caffeine but I also went to Target because I needed some like frozen food and I needed deodorant and a couple things for around my apartment. So let's do a little Target haul, shall we? So first I just got some groceries. I got some like diced potatoes because I love making breakfast burritos in the morning. Um, so I got two bags of those. And then I've never tried this brand before, Raised and Rooted, but they had spicy chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. So I really wanna try these. And then I got some jam so that I can make some PBJs because fucking PBJs. And then I got one of these Guardian Skillet meals. These are really good if you haven't tried them before. They're not like anything fantastic, but they literally feed you so much and they're just good like good comfort food meals. This is the chicken Florentino. Yeah, it's really good and it's really quick. So if you just like want something like hearty in a hurry, these are great. I love keeping them in my fridge for nights where, keeping them in my freezer for nights where I just don't feel like cooking. And then yeah, here's my other bag of potatoes. And then I got some snacks because I don't have any snacks in my apartment right now. Some Luau barbecue Hawaiian chips are so good. And then I got some dried sweet mango. These are so good and just like hits that sweet spot in such a nice way. And then I just got a few things for around my apartment. I got a toilet brush, uh, cause I don't have one yet. And this one was cute, it was only like 10 bucks. It's got this like little, like nice little kind of texture to it and it's really small and cute, you know? Like things like this, you're just like, I don't wanna put it in my bathroom, but you need it. I need a plunger. Fuck, I need a plunger. And then I got a new like hand towel for my bathroom. I saw this a couple, I saw this a few days ago and I just thought it was really cute so I went back and got it. It was like eight bucks, but my hand towels are all really, really grubby and nasty. So this one is gonna go in my bathroom because everything in my bathroom is like pink and white. Surprise. Everything in my life is pink and white. Speaking of pink and white, I got a loofah. This is from Eco Tools actually. So I got a light pink loofah and I got some um, body wash, some native body wash. I've never tried native body wash. My favorite body wash is the Method body wash, but I don't think they're cruelty free anymore. I used to use it a long time ago and it's so nice and moisturizing. So I'm hoping this is nice and moisturizing. I got the charcoal scent. It smells really nice, like citrusy, fresh. I don't know, like a little bit mannish, like a little bit, but mostly just like clean citrusy sweet it's really it smells really good and then i got more deodorant i got the citrus and herbal musk this is my favorite scent by native um native deodorant is my favorite cruelty free deodorant and then i got some hairspray this is nope nope dry shampoo this is the eva nyc freshen up dry shampoo i've never tried this dry shampoo i'm still trying to find a really really good cruelty free dry shampoo are you gonna spray oh, okay um i'm still trying to find a really good cruelty free dry shampoo so I hope I like this one but yeah that is all I got at Target so, so yeah I'm gonna put away all of my groceries Ugh. and then I'm gonna change and then I think I'm gonna attack my bedroom I really just like don't feel like decorating <laughs> it's Tuesday and I moved into this place on Saturday and you saw how much I decorated so like I've been just going and going and going nonstop, which is like a lot of the reason why like I also like, I didn't want to go into a lot of stores today. Like one, I don't like going into a lot of stores any day because of COVID. If I go into more than like two stores in a day, I'm like, Ugh. So I really like 
didn't want to do a bunch of running around, but I feel like I was still productive either way. Part of me is like, it's so early that if I start like decorating now, then by like three, I'm gonna have nothing to do for the rest of the day. But also if I'm filming myself decorating, I want the natural light to be in my room. So I don't know. Knowing me, I'm the type of person that like, if I have something to do, I wanna just get it done immediately. So I think I'm going to put my groceries away and then decorate my room and set it all up. Cause then I can relax in like a setup space. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've just kind of been rambling, but that's okay, it's my channel. I can ramble if I want to. I'm gonna go put away my groceries and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, the first thing I need to do is put away all of this laundry. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Most of this I'm just gonna like time lapse so that one, I can listen to music while I do this. And two, hopefully they'll just be nice and relaxing to watch. So here we go. Okay, so my room's clean for the most part, and now I'm going to start decorating. We're gonna start on this wall because I know vaguely what I wanna do with it. I know I'm gonna hang up my like twinkly lights back here, just like at my old place, and then I'm gonna hang up some art. So yeah, let's just, let's just start. Okay, so we got that wall done enough for now. I really wanted to put my sunflowers back up just because I feel like that was like an iconic moment of my backdrop. So hopefully those will be in my backdrops for my YouTube videos. But I wanted to go through this box with you guys. Um, so first I have these art prints that my friend did. I believe her TikTok is Honey Nouveau. No, no, Nouveau, Nouveau. Anyways, I will have her TikTok linked down below, but like look how Stunning these are so I definitely want to find a home for there for them So then I have these which you may have seen um, in Like previous backdrops Mason made these for me for our anniversary for our two-year anniversary So this one is the girl by city in color, which is like the song that we want to dance to at our wedding 
And then this one's my favorite. This one is the song For Now by Love, which if you are in a long distance relationship, listen to that song, but be warned, you probably will cry. It's a song that's like gotten me through this last year and he knows it. So he made that for me. So I'm gonna hang these up somewhere. And then I have this like fixture, which, ugh. So this thing was above my makeup counter, um, which you guys will have seen like in my newest videos where like I turn my, I turn my camera around so that you can see my desk. You will have seen this above. I'll try to like find a screenshot or something here, but I think I'm going to put this again above my desk. I'm just gonna wipe everything down though. I got this at Target. It was on sale, so I don't know if you can still get it at Target. Um, ew, this thing's filthy. So I think that is gonna go above my desk. I think this wall right here next to my desk, as much as I hate it plain, I think I'm gonna keep it plain just so that way, like if I want to, I could put up a backdrop here and take pictures here. Um, I've also been like more into like simple, like no background pictures, if that makes sense. So I think I'm just gonna decorate like right above here. And then I just want to go through like some of the things that I have. So I have this print that Mason got for me. I don't know the artist's name, unfortunately, but I know he found it on TikTok. It's of Scully and Mulder from The X-Files, which I love The X-Files. And then I haven't even found places for these. These are from wendystevensco.uk. So Wendy Stevens on, um, on, oh my God. Yeah, uh, Etsy. But look how cute these prints are. They're like little magazine covers that say unholy. I might run back to the store and get little frames for these and maybe like put them down next to here, but I really want to hang these up. I think these just go in my room so perfectly. I love them so much, especially especially this bitch. Like, ugh. Ah, love. And then I have this little Four Fires print. If you don't know, Four Fires are like the three pictures that I hung up above my bed. Four Fires is the artist. I love her so much. I've Ugh, just love her. And then I just have my favorite picture of Mason and Biscuit. And then I have these cool little prints again that I found from Etsy. Um, so these are all like little things that I glue to this to make it fun. I will show you. I'll show you when I set it up. Um, and then I have this that Mason drew for me, which is really, really cool. And then I, I have so many of these things. My friend Alex actually made this for me, of me, so I'm definitely gonna hang this up somewhere. And then I have the classic Dwight You Ignorant Slut. This is from the Kitschy Stitcher, I believe, on Etsy. That's what it says on the back, so yeah. And yeah, so God, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm just gonna hang up this thing next, and then we will figure it out from there. what we have so far. I still need to like actually decorate the thing, but I think it's cute so far. This is pretty much how I had it last time, so you know, not too bad. The thing is though, is I don't think I have tape, so I don't know how I'm gonna tape everything to here when I don't have tape. Okay, it's been a minute since I filmed. To be honest, my like 
my my mood just like dropped and I just didn't feel like doing anything so I just like relaxed made some food put up a couple little decorations and then I re-dyed the red in my hair I'm using manic panic vampire red and then the Eero neon red mixed with a little bit of the vampire red uh, the vampire red just stays so well so while this is settling in I am going to like set up I think a little bit more so it's so dark in here I don't have a light in here like there's an, only this light in my bedroom so it gets pretty dark but this is what I did over here so I just like I got some tape finally and uh put up some of the pictures I think it's really cute so yeah and then I made those spicy chicken nuggets that I got from Target and they're really really good they aren't that spicy at all um but they're good the breading is nice and crunchy which I love so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day I'm just like tired and I just don't like I've been moving and going so much to where I was just kind of like bit off a bit more than I could chew today so I don't know what we're gonna do next I'm gonna clean up my hair dye mess and rinse out my hair and then I don't know we will see if I finish my room today but I'll show you how my hair looks once I let it sit I let this sit in my hair for like 45 minutes to like an hour and then I'm gonna shower. Yeah, I don't know. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, my hair is, it's not totally dry, but this is what the color looks like. I mean, it's the same color I've had for ever. The brand Lunar Tides sent me some hair dye and that's the stuff that I used last time. But honestly, y'all, it didn't last like at all. This is like I said, Manic Panic and I just think I don't know, Manic Panic just lasts better. I also like the like richer red towards the end. But Queen, this gets been screaming. She's not used to living on her own yet. Um, also I had to wash and bleach my brand new bath mat because of course I got hair dye on it. Of course, I laid down until I everything. But of course that's how it goes. So anyways, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna end up even being. I'm on my period and I'm very much so back and forth with wanting to be really productive and then wanting to do nothing. And I have pretty much decided that I wanna do nothing. I'm just feeling a little, you know, a little schlumpy. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. So that's all, that's my vlog. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being patient with me while I get everything set up so I can get new videos out. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!